Is it better to have one general backlink rich SEO landing page that covers all topics or separate landing page for each topic with fewer backlinks? So like I was saying with your previous question, you need to look at what's working. Look at what Google is allowing to rank for certain keywords. Um, for So, you know, for some keywords, Google might prefer these huge articles that are like 6,000 words, 10,000 words, and they cover really topics fully and they rank for tons of keywords each. And then for other keywords, they might like you know, 500 word or 1000 word articles that really just cover one little section of the overall topic. Um, as far as like backlinks go, um, I feel like you're kind of mixing a couple things up here. Um, so, you know, as far as backlinks go, you, you know, you should have a lot of backlinks going to your homepage and then you should, you know, send some backlinks to inner pages every now and then. And hub pages. And, yeah. and hub pages. You just, you don't want your inner pages getting too heavy on backlinks. Unless it's like a really big hub page, like a big category page yeah. or your blog roll or, or something like that. Yeah, just best practice. Um, um, you know, hi hierarchy of where the backlinks go is typically home page, then to hub pages, and then um, to inner pages that are more popular, um, more competitive, um, yeah, and, typically. And and, you know, so how many links you end up sending to each inner page will kind of depend on the competition. Um, but in general, um, you know, your home page is stronger on links than the inner pages get less. But um, yeah, but I, I think the main thing to focus on with this question isn't even so much the backlink situation, but this um, idea of what should my article be really long and uh, deal with a lot of things. And like Chris said, make sure you're actually going to those SERPs and then actually seeing what is working there. Um, you know, typically you're gonna have overwhelming data on page one about exactly what Google's looking for there. Um, you know, tools that you can help um, audit this kind of stuff a little bit quicker are things like Surfer SEO, um, which is a great tool to get used to. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, hypothetical, um, a landing page with tons of content on it, you know, 5,000 plus words might be more confusing to a crawler because it's got too much uh, information that's, uh, you know, divvied up into uh, the SERPs, um, you know, in the form of shorter articles. So um, yeah, just look at what Google wants and then give Google what it wants. So for follow-up, he says, for example, if I have a cleaning business that does commercial cleaning, should I have one long page about all types of commercial cleaning or should I have separate pages for office, restaurant, school? Uh, my guess is you're probably going to want uh, separate pages. But again, you need to type in your keywords into Google and look at what Google is currently allowing to rank for those keywords. Um, like we mentioned in the previous question, uh, Google gives you the answers, right? They show you exactly what they like. Um, so go look at what's working and then emulate that on your own site. Uh, don't, don't try to, you know, reinvent the wheel here that, you know, um, you, you're a lot of SEO. I mean, unless you're like re doing this really exper experimental stuff, you you do not want to think outside of the box. Not, <laughs> yeah, not typically, yeah. unless you're very comfortable. Unless maneuvering you, the normal stuff, yeah, right? Like really, if you really got it down you're and you're doing. like, I can tweak <laughs> this a little bit more. Otherwise, just stick to the basics and the fundamentals, you know? Um, yeah. what, what does Google want? I can literally type in the keyword I'm trying to go after and and, and get an input of that data. Um, right. Very simple. Yeah, so just, uh, you know, Google's your best friend here. Look at what it's what it's showing you for those keywords and, and structure your site accordingly or structure your content accordingly. Mm -hmm. um, Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the description below for links to our blog for more info on this topic, along with a bunch of other cool stuff like case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking!